so welcome back to this video right now i'm going to be showing you one of the websites that you can use to spy on your website on your competitors ads and how to get your competitors ad to see what they are doing and also to check the niche and the kind of copies they have and also i'm going to be showing you in this video one of the websites or two websites that you can use to check for audience you want to use for your ad so the first thing to do now is we are going to open facebook facebook ad library right just search for facebook ad library and you're going to see the first link click on it now when you open the facebook ad library this is where you see a list of ad on any need that was set up and was running on the facebook platform you're going to see the ad and also see how it was performing so what you're going to do now is depending on where you're watching this video from right you just need to just change your your location already i'm in nigeria that's why this is in nigeria here what i'm going to do is we have something we call ad categories because without ad categories you cannot select the one you want to search for now it's very useful you search all the old ads that is currently running on facebook technologies you just need to find probably search for a particular keyword right you search a particular keyword the ad will show up now because of this particular tutorial i'm going to be using some basic keywords on some ads to test this thing so what i'm going to do i'm going to select ad categories i'm going to try to select all ads right i'm going to select all ads now for example now i'm trying to write or publish an ad that has to do with clothes for example i'll just search for clothes like this put a keyword and you're going to see a whole lot of results for this kind of keyword you just placed here right you can see we have about 550 results right here for this clothes size now what you need to do and i wanted to pay attention to this thing is you can see the day that this ad was launched now it's an up-to-date campaign that is going to show you all the whole ad that was run was launched in nigeria this month now we have may 23 the day this ad was started on it was 21st May. That was, I think, today. Now we have the platform the thing was showing. It's only the person is only targeting Facebook. Like the last video I, I showed you, I'm only using Facebook alone. Now this person is targeting all the whole platform Facebook, Instagram, Audience Network, and Telegram. Now this guy has this ad. Right? Now this ad has two. This ad is two ads. Now this one is six ads in one. Right? This one is eight ads in one. All right, so what I'm going to do now is look at the ads ID. All right, then you can see a lot of things here. So these are clothing, and um, these are clothing. So what I'm going to do now is if you are someone that wants to run ad, maybe so probably you want to check on the kind of campaign you want to run, you can just put something like clothes here. So what are you going to do for me now? We're going to click on see ad details. Now, when you click on see ad details, this is where you see everything about this ad even the page all right even the page so you can even go to the page and see what they have on the page it's very good and it's very vital that you must understand these basic skills and also basic principles about facebook and factors right now i'm going to do so i'm going to just click on what i normally do for me is i'll click on go to page right when i click on go to page my own is just to view the kind of page these people have and also how they optimize their page now this page has about 900 and 907 followers now it's a clothing and it's a clothing brand anyways and they have instagram followers instagram uh 14 followers here now if i click on see ad i'm actually going to see this ad right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just click on go look at the ad here you can see the ad copies this person is actually selling ankara and it's telling how to okay this ad is about how to do ankara business or probably how to learn it all right so this person actually selling a course on anchor and you can see the link here it's a fee is one thousand dollars set so you can include your own fee on your landing page on your sales copies or, or your ad copies here right then the link to your whatsapp is here so anybody that comes and see this thing we just click on this link and join whatsapp so you don't need to do any other thing so you can see how the thing works like now let's open the page the last time this person posted something on this page was on january 25th for me it's not actually good all right it's not actually good the business might be booming but for me i don't like it 
it makes the page doesn't look okay the last part is posted here is 10 may which was this particular ad this guy is running so let's see what is happening here now you can see that and i said before because of this girl this particular page page now it was using the post they posted on the facebook page that is why the reactions right that is why the reaction is even showing here this is an advertisement tool the reaction and the comments and the shares and the reactions and likes and anything is showing here so if i open this comment section now look at what you are going to be seeing here you can see here this one week ago one week ago i'm interested keep up the good work i'm interested these are what you need to do on your ad this one was five days ago six days ago okay six days ago this is um, 24 hours one day ago um this is one week ago seven hours ago so these are the way to spy on your computer's ad they have a lot of ad copies they are using this was 879 163 reactions so you can see a lot of ads here a lot of posts the same post different ad creative this person is using videos right so you can go ahead and create your own ad and do whatever you want to do and this person have an active facebook page okay it has an active facebook page so you need to try and make your page to be active and also attractive so i'm going to close it this is one of the ways to check and see how any facebook page works now this page this particular ad has multiple versions now this is the first one the second one is this one this is the second ad the same thing the same thing the same ad the same ad right now you can see they say see ad now if i click on see ad, let's see what is going to happen right if i click on see ad you're going to see similar same thing it's not going to be different from what you are seeing that i showed you before so why this is still loading let me show you another okay now you can see the facebook page of this person and you see the page we add they are using the ad they are going for so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to search for another ad let's say for example i'm going to search for um electric cooker this is how to spy on your computer's ad you search for what you are trying to advertise first before going into the ad so that you see what is happening now i search for electric cooker i'm seeing only 55 results you can see the results and it's not always as it's not always matching now these guys are e-commerce guys all right these guys are e-commerce guys and you can see what they are trying to sell here they are even showing something that is not related to electric cooker <laughs> all right so let me just search for something else let me just search for affiliate marketing all right search for affiliate marketing and this is what is going to show up here 530 results on affiliate marketing now this is it these are ad people are running for affiliate marketers you just need to mirror and search for the ad you want to just go for you can even use their own ad copies but to stay on the safer side what i would advise you to do is when you copy somebody's ad copies try as much as possible to change some of the text so that it's just be copy and paste try and change don't copy people's posts think for your own way all right think your own way then you come up with your own ideas so this is how to probably do it the right way to mirror, spy on computers ad so now let me go and show you another website you can use to search for audience the website is called engine scouts facebook audience i don't know if i got my audience correctly <laughs> okay so let's wait for it to load so this particular website now helps you to actually find interested interest of your facebook ad campaigns i use this ad and i use this particular there's a lot of them a lot of them so what I normally use ad to do now is I use it to find hidden audience that I can target to get more conversion of my ad. So you can try it as well. So how to use this ad is you need to search for a particular topic. Let's say you are selling watch, right? Then 
I'm going to be showing them why. Okay, in the next video, why I'm trying to run the next ad, I'm going to use this tool and this ad library to find what I wanted to do. All right. So I want to do something. Now. I'm going to just type Amazon Kindle. Now I want to search for people who are already interested in Amazon Kindle book publishing, so that I can target them very very well. So when I click on Amazon Kindle, I'll click on search. It's a free tool to use. Click on. There are many, many of them. They are outside there. So you click on search. It's going to give you the audience, the interest, and also show you the number of people who are interested in those things, so that I can target them the right way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to use this tool in the next video. So what I'm going to say now, this way for it to load very properly well, so that we can start our stuff. Now I search for Amazon Kindle. Look at it's only giving us one, two, three, four, five. Right? It's only giving us five options. So this is the keyword, first of all, is this keyword here. Right? Then Amazon Fire TV. The audience size is about 9.5 million. The Kindle itself is 20 million. Then the Fire Phone is to 24,319. Then the Kindle Fire, Kindle Store. All these things are keywords you can target and look at the topic that you can see it. That place I, I talked about suggestion. You can see it on business and industry. Right? Now you can see the audience size. This is the lower audience size. This is the upper audience size. So this is how to use it. Now I know that the, the results are not many. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how to properly use this tool. You can type any content here. Let's say Let's just try for photography. Photography. I hope I got the correct answer correctly. So I'm trying to sell a drone for people who do drone, who do photography business or something like that. And I search for free drone photography. Let's okay. I didn't have any results. Maybe the com the competitor is not is not good. So I'm going to just search for only photography now when i search for photography maybe my business is about photos um i have a photo studio i'm doing entertainment stuff like that and i just search for photography and i'm trying to sell a photographic equipment to my audience now this is it here this is the audience i'm looking for now you search for these keywords because any person who is interested in photography knows about these things any person who is interested in about photography knows about this thing. You can see the audience size, which is the lower audience size, and this is the higher audience size. You see the topic people. It's in people, it's in education, news, people, people, technology, news, education, documentary photography. All these things are what you need to target so that you get maximum results of your ad spend. So I've discovered and I've showed you that this particular website now helps you to find more audience you are looking for. So in the next video, I'm going to show you the next ad campaign we are going to be running. And we are going to be making use of this tool and the ad library to do all these things. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.